Hello everyone, welcome to 3D Motive. My name is Ryan Rabeau, and today we're going to talk about creating a tiling texture in Photoshop. The purpose of this will be for any kind of mobile game or any media that would require a hand-painted tiling texture relatively quickly and relatively low res. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New. This is Photoshop CC, the new Creative Cloud, just if you are curious. So we're going to create a file and name it Tiling Stone. We're going to set it to 1024 by 1024 pixels at 72 dpi and RGB color. The final output might be 512 by 512 or 256 by 256, but always paint higher and down res later. Next, we're going to fill the background with a slightly warm color, relatively dark. I prefer to paint dark to light. Now we're going to set a base texture layer above that. Next we're going to grab some brushes. I have a bunch of random brushes um, in my library that I'll pull from. You can pull from photos or find brushes online relatively quickly. All I'm doing when I'm thinking about these brushes is just grabbing stuff that would have some nice noise to them and would provide some decent surface texture. I'll just paint these on relatively randomly. Grab a different brush. Grab a slightly different color. Enlarge this brush slightly. Grab another brush. Let's try this guy. Grab another color. And paint that on. Grab a lighter color and paint that on. And we'll do one more brush. We already tried that one. Let's try this one. This one's got some noise to it. Now that's more of a cloud brush. And get some shadow information. And all I've done at this point is created a, a somewhat noisy layer. We're going to adjust our levels. And then we're going to hit Control B, add a little bit of cool color to it. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to make this tile. So we're going to go to Filter, Other, Offset. And we're going to set it to 512 by 512 at wrap around and hit OK. You'll notice that we have a seam here, oops, here, and here. So the first, next thing we need to do is we need to get rid of that seam. So we're going to go to our clone stamp tool and just stamp that out of there. Hit Control F, which repeats our last filter, and just check that the seam is gone. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create some quick stones. So we're going to create a grout layer and set that to multiply. I'm going to go back to a relatively hard brush, hit F5, and I this is a personal preference. I just like to give it a slight angle because I like to paint that way. Make it slightly bigger. Grab a color, make it a little bit lighter since we're on multiply. I was still on my clone stamp, so hit F5 again. And there we go. And now we're just going to paint some really quick stone shapes. Paint painting in the middle. Next we're going to hit control F and we're, you'll notice that the stones moved because I just offset it again. 
I'm going to paint in the new offset area. Creating these relatively random stone shapes. Hit Control F again. And pop back and forth just to fill in these areas. Control F one more time. Try not to get too close to the edge. And now I'm going to go to Filter, Other, Offset. Set the number slightly different. And hit Control F a bunch of times and just check that these stones move without a seam. This is a little bit funny looking, so we're just going to fix that. And then this is a little bit funny looking, so we're just going to fix that. All right. Now we have our base grout set up. We're going to set a mul we're going to set another layer to multiply. And this will be for our shadow information. We are going to have light come from the top left. This is just another personal preference of mine. So our shadows will be on the bottom right hand side. Grab a slightly lighter color. And start painting shadows on the bottom right hand side. And for sake of time, we're just going to do a couple of these stones. We're going to set a screen layer and make sure that we continue to name our layers. So grab a darker color and hit the light side of the stones. And then we're going to do one more screen layer. This is going to be for our highlight information. Set it to screen. Now using this method, we can get a really quick stone feel with a with a with the dimensionality to it that makes it look like it's popping up. We're going to go back and fill in some of this shadow area on our grout texture. Just paint that in really really quick. And then at any time, when you zoom out, the stone starts to read. So now doing this, I'm going to continue painting for a little bit, and I'll be back in just a moment. And we are back. So if we take a look at this, we've painted just a little bit further, but for now we're going to sign off. We've gone over the offset tool, naming layers, creating the really quick file for you to start with, and moving forward from there all it's all it's left to do is paint shadows highlights and add some more colors so thank you for checking things out my name is ryan Rabot. check out more videos on 3d motive while you're here all right talk to you later bye